Hello everyone, Chris Helvey here with Waterline Boats in Seattle, Washington. I'm here to show you a 1996 Renke 15 meter all aluminum cutter rigged sloop whose owners have used to travel all over the world in the past six and a half years. This boat has proven itself as a capable blue water traveler and is ready to go again with new owners. It is complete and needs only you to set off to faraway lands. The Renke features a unique twin fin wing design which allows it a shallow draft and the ability to sit upright on dry land. Constructed entirely of aluminum, the hull and decks are strong and dry. We'll start on deck amidships and move forward. You can see the two Harkin furlers. The anchor locker is accessible through this hatch next to the 1500 watt windlass. You can see full specifications from our full inventory page at www.waterlineboats.com. As we move aft, the dinghy is stowed and covered on deck. Looking aft, we see the interior windscreen and also the cockpit windscreen with overhead bimini covering the cockpit completely. Two spreaders, Harkin roller furlings, two spinnaker poles. From here we'll go back to the aft deck. The owner reported that the rigging was tested overseas within the last few years, but the sails should be replaced within the next few upcoming years. This yacht has seen the world over. The fully aft deck has a swim step, a ladder and a monitor wind vane. One of the numerous hatches is here and they have a few chairs and a crab pot. This boat has been and still is a liveaboard. Looking forward over the bimini top you can see the sail cover appears in bright condition. Here is a good view of the helm in the cockpit with instruments and both throttles as this is a two engine boat. This is all enclosed in the front and the sides with a very clear poly windscreen about 20 millimeters thick. It's quite thick. The companionway is under the bimini here in the cockpit. Underneath the bimini in the cockpit the canvas appears to be in good condition. There's a table in the cockpit under the bimini. Two large self-tailing winches are here and a nice flat area just forward. We enter below deck just aft of amidships. To port is a wonderfully spacious U-shaped settee just aft of the helm. Being from Austria, most of the labels are in English and some in German. I don't believe it would be difficult for anyone to decipher what's meant. Take note of the windless remote with another remote in the cockpit, the instrumentation, the excellent and very beautiful woodworking craftsmanship. The radar is older but is operational. Most other instruments are reasonably modern. Directly to starboard is the well-equipped nav station, including computer-based chart plotting and single sideband which was used regularly for text messaging. Storage is abundant. You can see here some of the computer interfacing. This is a well-equipped nav station indeed. From here we take three steps down into the lower forward area and to port is a well-equipped galley with hot and cold pressure water, an all-electric stove, microwave, and lots of space. This boat is very clean to my eyes. Cabinet space is abundant and looks to have a useful layout. Again, the lighting is great and the hardwoods are beautifully finished. It has a fridge as well. 
forward the galley is a glassware holder that acts as a semi-transparent separator to the salon on the other side. An L-shaped settee around a folding dining table in the salon is spacious and classy. The upholstery looks clean and well kept, and as a side note, the artwork on board is excellent. I understand that some pieces will be taken and some will stay aboard. All the books stay. On the starboard side is a bench seat and a single berth with a flat screen TV forward. Aft of that is a small bench and plenty of cabinet storage. Looking back, you can see the three levels. Moving fully forward of the salon, we see the TV and two doors. The door to the port is the forward head with a basin, a manual toilet, and an overhead hatch. And fully forward is the V-berth cabin with storage underneath. It is sizable. The owners use the access panels in the sole for food storage. It appears very clean and dry to me. Back at the helm, I want you to see the tremendous view with the many windows surrounding. Now we will move aft through a hallway down three steps. The owner has many technical manuals, shipwright drawings, and logs. Again, there is plenty of storage. Fully aft is the master cabin, which has been draped off so that one half of it is a sleeping area and the other half storage. The master head has a full standing shower and access to the engine room is here. Coming back out, we go back up the steps to the nav station amidships where we started. It is clear that attention to galvanic corrosion due to dissimilar metals was in mind during design because most everything is aluminum. This is a very fine and unique ocean-going vessel. The extras that come with the boat are too numerous to list. It's ready as an instant cruiser. For more details, you can visit our website at waterlineboats.com and link to the full specs on our boat shed, our online presentation site. Feel free to call me or email me at chris at waterlineboats.com. As always, thanks for stopping by.